τόρμα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος. Αμήν. Mushroom Oscar. Welcome to Istanbul. It is difficult to choose a title for this film, so we ask the children from the Bulgarian Sunday School in Istanbul for help. I would call this film Joy. Little Wonders. I think it should be titled The Bulgarian School. Exarchate. It could be... As Melissa said, it could be Exarchate. It could be... The Bulgarian School. I think it should be... Bulgarians Abroad. The film could be called Bulgarians Abroad or Bulgaria Everywhere. The heart of Bulgaria in Istanbul. Really? The Exarchate or the Bulgarians who live here have been building a spiritual bridge to Bulgaria. In order to build this bridge, the first thing that we need is learning and knowledge. Unfortunately, there were periods when this process was interrupted, but in the last few years, mostly because of the living necessity of these people to read and write in Bulgarian again, because they go to Bulgaria and thousands of guests from Bulgaria come here, and it suddenly turns out that they either don't speak the language or it is difficult to understand them. That is why the Bulgarian school was created. It brought the idea back to life. These people began reading and writing again from A and B, and today they easily 
and with a smile even give interviews in Bulgarian. The children who fill the yard of the Sunday school have brought joy. They have brought life. They gathered the people and now everyone is happy that there is a spiritual center where they can gather, where they can share their thoughts, where they can share their everyday problems, where they can voice their dreams and begin realizing them and step by step through the school, through the holidays, which bring real excitement for every Bulgarian. Bulgarian Christmas, Easter, especially May 24th. All the Bulgarians from the Exarchate come with tremendous joy to see how the children would recite poems, sing songs. Last year they participated in a play for Palm Sunday. Then they took part in other folk customs and rites. This way these people see and they believe that they can too. Children have paved the way and now adults walk in their footsteps. But why do the youngest Bulgarians in Istanbul come here? What attracts them to this place? I like it. I like celebrating Christmas. I like taking part in the program with everyone here. I like it here because it isn't too noisy. There are more trees, there is more room, more places to play. Because I cannot speak Bulgarian very well and I would like to learn more grammar. If something bad happens someday, I will go to Bulgaria and study there and live the way I want. I love coming here. I like it, mostly because I learn new things here. I want to learn. I don't want to forget the language I want to write. Because I'm learning how to write in Bulgarian. I don't want to forget the language. I want to learn to speak Bulgarian well. We are learning the alphabet. Grammar is not the only subject we study here. There are also classes in drawing, as well as classes in dancing and music. We learn, we draw, we dance, and we play, because it's fun and we're learning in Bulgarian. Teachers are very nice, so are the kids, and it's good to learn. I have friends here, they all speak Bulgarian, which is my mother tongue, and I feel nice. I like coming here, because all the teachers are very good, and they teach us very nice things. They are the Bulgarian apostles of knowledge by the waters of the Bosphorus. Kristina, Seika, Pavlina, Natalia and the two Nevins are the messengers of enlightenment who every Sunday take young Bulgarians on the road to knowledge. Bulgarian language and literature and Bulgarian folk songs and dances which our compatriots learn here are the true roots which connect the motherland with its children abroad. the Bulgarian teachers at the Sunday school and why are they here? We proudly present them to you. My name is Nevin Deuduva. I am the principal of the St. Kirill and Methodi Bulgarian Sunday school in Istanbul. I've worked here since 
2015, when I was invited by the General Consul of the Republic of Bulgaria in Istanbul, Mr. Angel Angelov. I have been a teacher for 36 years. This is a vocation, and I think I will be a teacher as long as I live. Here, at the Sunday school, even though we only have classes on Sundays, we all come with pleasure and joy. Besides, we also have classes for adults. These are adults from the Bulgarian community in Istanbul who were born here and their children. My oldest student is 75 years old. They're very keen on coming here and studying. As a matter of fact, we are very much like a family. We know each other's cares, we know each other's joys, we celebrate together and it is very interesting for me to communicate with them because I bring them a piece of culture from Bulgaria which they don't know very well. At the same time, I learn many things from them because they have added something to the culture they have inherited from their ancestors. My name is Christina Rajkova. I was born in Plovdiv and I'm the daughter of priest Alexander Chukuruk in Odrin. Teach music. I studied clarinet and I teach clarinet at the local university. Here in the Bulgarian school I teach music to the children. With them everything is a game, everything is fun, everything is very joyful. It is hard for them to learn new words because Bulgarian is very different from Turkish, but it is really nice to work with them and I'm glad that I teach at the Bulgarian school. My name is Sika Chirpanova and I teach folk dances in the Bulgarian school in Istanbul. I was invited here by the general consul, Mr. Angelov, who is the founder of the school. It is because of him that the school opened its doors, mostly because of him. I teach folk dances because I love music, I love dances, especially Bulgarian horos and chain dances. They charge me with a lot of energy and when I dance, I feel more Bulgarian. This is what I try to convey to the children. I also have a class of adults from the Bulgarian diaspora, youngsters who are making good progress and we already have quite a repertory.
These pictures were drawn by our students in the fine art classes at the Sunday school. Working with children brings me great joy and satisfaction since they give very special energy. And at the same time, I have the incredible privilege and opportunity to give something from myself and teach these children some drawing, some color, some composition, some aesthetics, how to love the process and enjoy it so that it fills them with pleasure. My name is Nevin Chalushkan. I teach Bulgarian language and literature to the high school level students. The students are very keen on coming to the classes. Apart from the classes in Bulgarian language and literature, we also have Bulgarian geography and economics classes, as well as in history and civilization. The classes take place in the form of presentations and video lessons, which contributes to retaining the students' attention. They are very keen on taking part in the discussions during presentations. The presentations also include questions which the students must answer because education is a two-sided process and not just the teacher giving information to the students. So we always try to have questions and answers in the classes. The teacher asks questions and the students answer, and vice versa. The students ask the teacher questions and I answer. I love being a teacher because deep inside their soul, every teacher always remains a child who didn't grow up. Their spirits remain forever young. And teachers are always excited by the things that are exciting and wondrous to little children. My name is Natalia Hatipoglu and I am a teacher in the St. Kirill and Methodi Bulgarian Sunday School in Istanbul. I teach Bulgarian to entry and preparatory level students. Chil children are between 5 and 7 years old. These are children who are very keen on learning the language, even though half of them have never been to Bulgaria. They love Bulgaria from what they've heard from their parents and grandparents. I chose this profession when I was a university student. The main reason I like it here is because I'm a Bessarabian Bulgarian. Once I dreamed of Bulgaria just like the children I teach now. I used to have teachers from Plovdiv and I'm very grateful to them. Now I have the opportunity to teach Bulgarian to children who still dream of Bulgaria and of learning Bulgarian. In the house of the Exarchate, we meet one more patriot. He's not a teacher, but rather a guardian of the Bulgarian people abroad. My name is, my name is Vasily Lyaze. I have been the chairman of the Bulgarian colony for 15 years. I remember how we started and now things come one after the other. First, we started with the refurbishing in Odrin. Then we made the convent, then the exarchate followed, and then we started restoring St. Stephen. If it weren't for these places, we, the Bulgarians here, would be lost. That is why there needs to be a board that takes care of them, and there needs to be a leader. I don't know how it happened, but I've been here for 15 years. 
I guess it is like cigarettes. I got addicted. Almost like an alcoholic. I come to the garden, I check who needs help. We help old people, we drive them to the hospital. We will see what happens. We may obtain back some of our land. We will build apartment blocks there. My first order of business will be to make a senior citizen's home for the old people. Young people have also started to come. They have been coming for two or three years. We have a group of young people. We also started the school. Quite a few people have started to come. There are about 30 little children. There are also courses for the older ones in the afternoon. There is another course on Tuesday. There are also classes in Bulgaria folk dances there every Friday. I want to tell you briefly about a new initiative at the Bulgarian Exarchate. For the last two years, we have been organizing an artist colony with artists from Turkey, Bulgaria and other European countries. We made the first artist colony with the kind support of a Bulgarian consulate. They embraced the idea of such an event taking place at the building of the Bulgarian Exarchate in Istanbul and the board of the Exarchate was our kind host. The artists were accommodated in this historical building and they had the wonderful opportunity to create art in the garden or anywhere they liked. Many of them don't even know what this place is. Especially our colleagues from Turkey said we have passed by this beautiful building so many times but we had no idea what it is. Now Bulgarian cultural monuments in Istanbul are a little more popular. Actually, this was the idea behind the artist colony, which took place in May of 2017. Its topic was Bulgarian cultural heritage in Istanbul. The artists from Macedonia, Russia, England and Turkey who took part had the opportunity to see the Bulgarian Exarchate, St. Stephen Church, St. Dimitar Church at the cemetery park and the convent. They all decided to recreate these monuments or some emotion which is connected with Bulgarians and Bulgarian culture in their paintings. The wonderful exhibition was first shown at the May 24th celebrations at the Exarchate. May Bulgaria live on. If it weren't for Bulgaria, nothing could happen here because the old people are pensioners. The young people don't come to church often. Only several people will have jobs like mine. How often can they help? Once or twice, maybe. All money is not enough. We sell candles, but nothing remains out of that money. We have a lot of expenses. Thank God, our motherland Bulgaria has not abounded us. That is the truth. We receive a subsidy of 50,000 euro per year. When things are difficult, we have a foundation in Sofia, St. Stefan. It was founded by Yavor Kamburov. 
I'm also the chairman there. Some money comes from there too. Well, if we manage to build the apartments in three or four years, and since we also have a few shops, we will be able to have some money. We will use it, for example, if our young people want to go to college. We will give them some money per month, because not every family can afford to pay for education, so we will help. We will also help the sick. I would like it if more young people came here. I want them to get married among themselves, because they have started marrying people from other races. I want Bulgarians from Bulgaria to come here like our fathers came here to Turkey or went to Macedonia and they founded centers. I want Bulgarians from Bulgaria to know that there is a center here for them. They are footballers, basketball players. If you can advertise all this in Bulgaria as much as you can, so that they can come here, because in the future their children may remain in Turkey, just like our parents did. The Bulgarian Exarchate is a supreme national organization of the Bulgarian Orthodox Church, founded with the firman of Sultan Abdulaziz from 1870. It existed until 1953. The struggle for establishing the Bulgarian National Church lasted for 40 years. First, Bulgarians insisted on choosing their own priests, who had to be Bulgarians by nationality, read Mass in Bulgarian and take part in creating Bulgarian schools. Until the liberation of Bulgaria from Ottoman rule, the Exarchate helped in the unification of Bulgarian territories and was in charge of the education process in them, 
It fought the Western Catholic propaganda, which attempted to spread its influence among Bulgarians. After the liberation, the Bulgarian Exarchate focused its activity mainly on those Bulgarian territories which, as per the Berlin Treaty, remained within the limits of the Ottoman Empire. The feeling is incredible. The excitement is tremendous. I am proud to be Bulgarian. This is a big celebration for Bulgaria. A celebration of good neighborly relations, of European friendship and tolerance. An example of how peoples, how neighbors, how cultures can live hand in hand, prosper and show that the world can progress in peace and love. In 1849, an official firman was issued by the Sultan, allowing Bulgarians to have their own place for prayers. The influential Ottoman statesman, Prince Stefan Buguridi, who was Bulgarian, granted a large yard with buildings on the very coast of the Golden Horn to the Bulgarian church, near the seat of the Ecumenical Patriarchate. No. At the end of the 19th century, the Bulgarian Orthodox Church St. Stephen was built here, also known as the Iron Church. It is the only Iron Orthodox Church in the world. Its architecture attracts with its beauty because it is a unique combination of neo-baroque, neo-gothic and Byzantine styles. The non-traditional interior combines fairy tale cherubs and flowers with Russian iconography. At the time, the Bulgarian state paid over one million francs for the temple. The church is incredible. It is unique and it shows how wise our ancestors were. They had the feeling they were creating something great and the dignity to do it. Now, we first and foremost, the Bulgarian state and the Bulgarian Prime Minister, Mr. Boyko Borisov, using the improving dialogue of the bilateral relations and the constant communication with the Turkish government and the Turkish President Erdogan, have managed to strengthen and develop the relations to the extent where the temple can be worked on.
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has contributed tremendously to this restoration. Minister Zakharieva, Ambassador Nensky, our diplomatic missions in Turkey, all our colleagues who have helped the cause over the years. I would like to mention the special contribution of the Ministry of Culture of the current Minister Banov, and especially of the former Minister Vezdi Rashidov, who really built a bridge between the two ministries and made it so that the Church was included in the restoration projects. That is why today it looks unique. Bulgarians believe in themselves, believe they can, believe they are the carriers of creation and goodness. When they come here and see how such a miracle and such an example was created with the combined efforts of the Bulgarian state, they will feel proud that they are also part of this creation and feel that they create even bigger wonders. I invite all Bulgarian citizens to come, see and tell. Bulgaria can! Last but not least, we would like to present to you the restorer who gave this Bulgarian historical monument the chance not only to live again, but also to have a beautiful future. Fikrie Bulunmas is a restorer with tremendous experience. She has worked on tens of restored temples and historical sites, the brightest among them being the St. Sophia Church Museum in the center of Istanbul. Fikrie Bulunmas says that during her long hours of work here she met many Bulgarians who told their touching stories of emigrants, refugees and travelers whose love for their motherland had never faded. People who have been coming to this place for decades not only because of their religious beliefs but also to rekindle their belief that Bulgaria has not forgotten its children abroad.